Okay, people, welcome back. Welcome back to another Streamobot tutorial. Um, today we are going to update Denny TTS. Um, if you already previously installed Denny TTS with the uh, previous video I made on it, um, I'm gonna recommend you to remove uh the current way in streamer bot uh because if we override it it's possible that it breaks so i recommend just removing the old way and installing it like you're doing a press install now if you did not do it already before then you can just follow this tutorial and you should be good to go so um as in the previous tutorial i will not be going over uh speakerbot install once again i will link a video for that down in the description below but we will be using it um so yeah with that being said let's start with denny tts install so in the description there is a link to my itch.io page uh, where you can download the Denny TTS. Uh, make sure you are downloading the um, 1.0.7 version. Um, I'll make sure that it's the only version on there. Uh, otherwise, you can always join the Discord and you should be able to download it there. Um, also, if you have any issues with the install, uh, join the Discord and we will be helping you out there to make it work um so yeah let's uh, let's get into the install okay so yeah first of all you want to go down in the description and go to the itch.io like i said you want to download it and when you have downloaded it you are getting a zip file like this what you want to do is you want to right click if you're on windows 11 you want to do show more options um if you use 7 zip uh, what I do recommend, I will leave a link down in the description. It's a second install. Um, then you want to go right click and then extract to Denny TTS. When you have that done, you get this file right here. You want to open this file. And of course, you want to open um, Streamabot. Um, and then you want to go, secondly, you want to go in import in Streamabot. So you want to click import. Then you get this screen. What you then want to do, you want to open your TTS folder and you want to go to the streamer bot import file. Um, and there is the TTS, the Denny TTS version. All you want to do is grab that, drag it in here. Um, and then you get something like this. And then all you want to do is hit import and it should import all these. Uh, I'm not going to do that, of course, because I already did. Um, and this one is a little bit outdated, so I have to repack it. Um, so it is the correct version, but, um, that's besides the point. So, okay. So when we have this done, um, we're going to do a couple of things. Um, so first of all, what I want you to do is make sure that you have Denny TTS, this folder in a location where you want to keep it. So for me, for example, I have Danny TTS inside my OBS folder where I have my OBS install. And there I have it inside the SS folder. And this is where I have it. Um, so I'll put the file in a location where you want to keep it. Uh, this is important because we have to change some stuff in here. Uh, and if you then move your folder, it will not, no longer work. Um, so keep that in mind. After you did that, we are going back to um, Streamerbot. So what we want to do in Streamerbot, we want to check all these functions if everything is incorrectly. So first of all, we're going to check uh, the main ones. And then I will come to the changes we did in um, 1.07. So the, the reason I made this update is, is in, if you use a previous version, you know 
that we had a delay before uh, Danny disappeared from the screen. What was this? Not perfect. Um, now what I did is I made it so uh, it calculates the text. And when the speaker bot is done with talking, then Danny disappears. Um, so this is what this is actually doing. Uh, we'll go over that. It's not... You don't need to need much, know much about it, just so we know it's working. So, uh, first of all, what we want to do, we want to go to the TTS avatar. We want to go into the sub actions. And then we, for sure, want to go, first of all, we want to go to execute code. So, execute code right to JSON. We want to open that one. And then this is where I am also said like, well, make sure you have it in a folder you want to keep it. Because this is where we actually need to specify the location. So, as I told you, mine is in my OBS asset folder and then TTS. As you can see here, on this line right here, it is my E drive. As you can see, it's my E drive, OBS, assets. And then Danny TTS. Um, so what you want to do if you have it in a different drive. So for example, I have it. This is my developer version. But for example, I have it here. What I want to do, I want to click on here. Copy this line right here. Just copy, control C. And then I want to go here from behind the T, uh, behind the S, uh, the S and the backslash. I want to select that up to the uh, the drive, and then I want to replace that line with my new uh, directory. Um, that is all you want to do. So you want to do that for this one. When you have that done, you want to hit on uh, compile, and this will just show you the uh, compiled successful. If this shows an error, drop down in the Discord, and we figure out what's going on there. Uh, if it's like completely successfully, you can just hit save. And okay. Um, and the same we are going to do here. Uh, so this is the SQ code read from JSON. Um, so we want to do the exact same thing. Just replace this line. And then again, do compile. Save. And okay. So what this one does, this writes, um, if you redeem the channel point. Let me grab my chat here. So for example, I'm taking this channel point and I say, um, this is Danny TTS, right? And I send it. Then what this code will do, this code will write it to the JSON file. So what this code does, it, uh, it grabs this message and it sends it to, uh, this file right here. So it sends it, so it will send it to this file. And I can actually show you that. Let me make sure I have the correct Danny TTS open. I do. So watch this. So now it says this is a new uh, text test. If I now send this TTS message, this one will update. This is Danny TTS. So you can see it updated this line. So then what, while it's in here, what the other one will do, this read from JSON, this one will actually grab this again and send it over to the HTML overlay like you just saw with Danny. Also, you could see with Danny, it has a new style. Yes, I also updated the style for Danny. Um, so, and there is more coming. I'm going to do some more changes uh, later on. Uh, but yeah, so I also updated the balloon style for Danny, um, added in a nice animation, uh, really subtle. So if you have a short Im uh, message like this, you won't really see it. Um, but yeah, so that is what the JSON does. Um, then this one, the OBS raw refresh, this one, uh, makes sure that Danny gets refreshed. So, um, 
automatically so it's not like you have to refresh the page manually so this will refresh the page so it actually is showing uh, if it doesn't refresh uh, so for example i disable this one and i'm showing you this because sometimes it will it can happen that maybe something happens even though it should not but for example i i disable the refresh so we know uh we had this danny is uh this is danny tts right so now if i send this a new message uh just say hello watch what happens hello never mind it did refresh so I think what is happening here, I may actually have, huh, which one is this? This is the correct one. So that is interesting. Because I disabled the refresh, so it technically should not even do that. Fine, I guess, I don't know, um, that is weird, so because I disabled it, um, fine, but just keep it there, so this one will always make sure that the browser source refreshes, um, now I have two versions, so it's prob possible that somehow they're colliding now, uh, because I also have two versions in my OBS, so disregard the entire shit what just happened, it should not happen. But this refreshes the browser page. Um, wait, I, I think I know why. Let me have a look. I may have forced the re... Oh, right. Okay. So I have refro uh, refresh browser source when it becomes active on. You can turn it off now, actually. Let, now let's do it again. Um, so first, we're going to do it with the refresh on. I'm just gonna say test and it should not update now. Test. So oh, it should update, right, because I have it on. Now, if I turn it off and I say hello again, hello again. See, it's, it says hello again, it updates in the JSON file right but it doesn't update on screen now you can you can technically do it in two ways so what you could do is uh in danny tts itself in the browser source you can use this refresh browser source when it becomes active but i did notice it doesn't always do the job so this is why i made this function so it forces the refresh right all right um now technically this is an install video but i'm also kind of explaining what is happening so it's not confusing um so if something goes wrong you know what can be causing it um well this is just a delay before the so it refreshes and then after a second um it will uh disable it so we are sure it refreshes um before it gets active then we have to, of course another delay and then it will speak um what we want to do here in obs for uh source visibility state before we get to there let me do something here because of course we need that so what we want to do is uh get a little bit more space on the screen here let me remove that. Um, so to get this all working in OBS, I'm going to studio mode. We want to go to, uh, you want to go and make a, um, a, a scene. That is what I did. I made a special scene for Danny. Um, now you can use this exact naming. If you use the exact naming, you're technically doing yourself a favor because that means you don't have to change anything right so for example if you, you if you use brackets uh, uh yeah brackets ns blockers dash tts and then inside there you're going to add a browser source in that browser source we are going to load danny 
So we're just gonna do browse, right? And then browse to where you have the HTML. You click on the HTML. Um, make sure you have Danny in there. Then change it to 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can use refresh browser, uh, but we're technically already forcing it. Uh, you can enable it to be triple sure that it refreshes. Um, when we have that done, we want to click OK. And then you are going to see this, a green screen. Well, we're just going to add a chroma key to it. And the only thing we're going to change on the chroma key is the smoothness. We're going to change the smoothness from 80 to 50. And there you go. We have it done. You can lo uh, post it in the location you want it. And again, if you did the exact same naming, we, you don't have to change anything in OBS uh, in Streamerbot. If you did call it something different, like for example, uh, just TTS or um, Danny, uh, I don't know, or TTS source, whatever, then you need to change. Now, why do I say I recommend a nested scene? Because if I am going to instead do this, but in, in, instead of using a nested scene, um, I'm just going to paste it in every scene I want it. I need to make multiples of these. So instead what I'm doing, I'm going to make a nested scene, Flocker TTS. Um, if you don't know what a nested scene is, it is actually, is, I'm going to show you. Um, it is a scene that you place in another scene. So I have here a nested scene. That is where the NS stands for. This is where I only have Danny in. Then if I go, for example, to my live scene, then here I have Flockers TTS, right? You can just do this by uh, adding a source, then adding scene, and this is where you can add your scene. So then it will add the scene in. Um, what makes your life a lot easier because then it will update that scene instead of me having to add um, it in every scene and then I have to change it here for every scene. Um, what also gives a problem because that means when I enable it, it will enable Danny on every fucking scene. Uh, we don't want that. All right. The video is already getting longer than it's supposed to be, but I want to make it clear for everyone. If it's not clear, please let me know. Okay, so we now have Danny edit in OBS. Um, so if you did use the exact same naming, you can skip this step. You can double check it, but technically you can skip it because it will be set. If you did call it something different, then you want to go here to open source visibility state. You want to double click on it. Then you want to select your scene that you made, right? And then you want to there enable Danny. And that is all you want to do. So when you have this, we are almost done. And then we have here the 700 milliseconds. Keep that same as this. Don't chase those. Then we get to SpeakerBot. Now you can see I have here SpeakerBot Italy. Uh, don't, you don't have to touch the raw input. All we have to do is change this name. So if you have SpeakerBot installed, once again, a link down in the description for installs tutorial. Um, if you have everything installed, we want to go to settings. Then we want to go to speed engines. No, we want to go to voice aliases. Then here in voice aliases, if you already installed it, you have a voice here that you made. And this voice name is what we want to put in here. So for example, if I have another voice, let me make a new voice. Let's say I want uh this australia nicole right i want nicole let's see how she sounds this is a test message yeah we're gonna take nicole right so if i want nicole instead i'm just gonna do um add um no wait um i want to remove this delete and then I'm just going to, so for example, I want a new one, right? So I'm going to do uh, Nicole. I'm going to say add. So it made a new one. 
Nicole. Then we're gonna go here, add the employees we want. And now if I change Italy to Nicole, so if I just do copy and paste, now it's going to use Nicole as the voice. So let me go here really quick. Let me activate Danny. Let me get the chat up. Uh, and then I'm going to say my name, name is Nicole. It should, if everything went right, it should now use a different voice. My name is Nicole. See? So that is how you can change your voice for Danny. Um, now we are, of course, are going to use Italy. Um, I don't know, for some reason that just fits him. Uh, if you want the exact same name, by the way, uh, the exact same voice that I use, uh, let me show you. It is uh, the Amazon Poly Italian uh, Adriano Neutral. That is the one that I use for Danny. So if you want the same voice, uh, that is the one. So that is uh, that part out of the way. So your Danny should now be speaking. Um, and then what we want to do is here, we want to go to limit check. Um, technically we do not have to change anything here, but again, we want to double check it. So here we're going to click on this one. Just make sure it says a raw link. And then this, we don't have to change anything. It should be done by default. Now here, um, it's a different story. So as you can see, if I open the chat again. If you can see uh, here, it says max characters are 240 characters. That is this. So what happens, uh, the message can only be 240 characters long. Uh, if it's longer than 240 messages, we are going to give you a limit warning. And it will not send Denny. It will not trigger the effect. Um, if it is less than 240 characters, then we are going to send Danny like, Hey, activate, right? Um, so you can make 240 characters, but if you like, well, I want 145 characters to be allowed. All you have to do is change this number. Don't touch anything else. Now I'm going to put it back to 240. Um, I think personally, I would even recommend keeping it here. Because this is just a perfect um, amount. Um, so, okay. But what, what happens when someone types over 240? Because you're technically already using your channel points. Um, well, this is why we have the limit warning. This limit warning. So, the, it, it checks the limit. If it fails, it will fire off this limit warning. So, what happens? It will uh, give you a warning. Um, let me see if we can find a, uh, a text really quick that is over, uh, 200 characters. Um, so, oh, let's say, I know this one will trigger that because I tested this one before. So this is over 240 characters. So what happens when I do this? I get this message. So the max limit for Danny is 145. I need to update it because, well, this is not correct. So we can definitely do that right now. Um, it's 240. So now it's 240. Um, I, I, will, I will come here in a second, but for now I just did this. So if I now do it again, it says the max limit for Danny is 240 characters. Um, and you went over the max limit with 249 characters. So it actually also tells you how many characters you actually put in. And it's, it, it's not that I put 294 more characters in. No, I, uh, this is the total. So I technically put in nine characters too much. So if I just, for example, do this. And then just take this part out. That should be a nine for sure. And I do it. We will be uploading more tutorials for Streamerbot. This seems to be a loved series on the channel. Thank you for all the support and you guys and girls make this possible. P.S. This image is already outdated again. That how. See? Um, 
So that is also why I said like 240 is technically long enough. I may actually decrease it, but you can technically just lift um, Danny up. So, but I, I may actually just decrease the character amount with a couple less, but right. Okay. So what happens when I go over, what happens to my channel points? Well, this is why, again, why we have the, uh, the limit warning. Uh, it will check if, if it fires this limit warning, it will, so this one checks the limit warning. If yes, then it fires the limit warning that will of course ping you send this message to you like hey this will not work and then it will check the amount of the channel points that are used in this case 800 channel points and then it will cancel so it will give you uh, your channel points back so that's a full refund right there so that is that is the warning so technically that is that now we are getting to the meat stuff so the big change so uh what i mentioned before is um when you have danny uh the previous danny uh the version one installed it will just had a delay and then um, it will go off screen instead of calculating the time, right? So uh, this is where we are coming over now. So we want to go uh, here in, um, yeah, the, let me, let me make it a little bigger so you can actually read it. Um, so this is a speak about TTS finished trigger. Um, this one will actually go to uh, go to TT uh, to the speaker bot and it will check the message. We have to do something here in a second. Um, so it will execute this code, and this is where we need to be in a second. We need to well not in the code, but we have to do something for that to work. Um, and then after that uh, delay, you don't have to have the delay. Uh, but I did add a 500 millisecond delay. So it, after it spoke, it, it has a tiny 500 milliseconds delay. So that's half a second. And then it will um, remove Danny from the screen. Um, and uh, this one we come to in a second because that will evolve our next step. So. Now what we want to do to make sure that this TTS finish trigger works, we want to go here, we want to go to settings, and we want to go to speed engine. No, let me have a quick look here because now I have to check where this was. Ah, there you go. So in speaker bot, you want to go to settings, then you want to go to general, and then you want to go down here to save TTS audio file. It is unchecked by default. You want to check that. Then in here, you want to have a file location. So what you want to do, you want to, what I have, I have it saved on my mega. Um, I have a folder called TTS wave. Um, what this will do, it will generate a audio file, a wave file. And I will show you that in a second. So you want to have the folder um, and you want to create a folder and locate it through there. Click OK. So it will generate an audio file. Um, so let me show you what is happening, actually. So let me disable this one for a reason. So now if I go here, go to chat, I'm going to do the exact same one again. You know what? I'm just going to do this. The max limit for Danny is 240 characters and you went over the max limit with 249 characters. Your points will now be refunded. Right. So now what it did, because I disabled one option, is if I go to Mega and then I'm going here to my Mega file and I go to TTS Wave, you can see it created a audio file. Now if I click on this audio file, the max limit for Danny is 240 characters and you went over the max limit with 249 characters. Your points will now be refunded. So you see, right? This is the actual text that 
so this is what this this audio file is what this file uses to calculate the time for Danny. So that is why we need this file in SpeakerBot. So once again, make sure you have your folder here um, and that will generate that audio file. Okay, but will this not clutter up my files? And yes, it is nice if I want to, for example, use these audio files for a reason, you can. Right, and then you can just keep it here and then maybe you make a short or some other funny stuff with it, right? Compilation, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that will be great, but I have not much room on the disc or I can even, you can even use a USB drive for this. Um, the problem is I, they're not big, right? They're 480 kilobytes, depends on how long the message is. Um, but if you have this being spammed in the chat and it will fill up, it can, um, well, it can fill up your drive pretty fast, right? So how do we combat this problem? Well, this is why we have this uh, bot delete TTS file. So let me remove this. So when I remove this, right? Now, if I enable this one, right? And I'm going to once again do the exact same thing like we did before. I'm going to take the exact same message. I'm going to call up Danny to talk to me again. The max limit for Danny is 240 characters and you went over the max limit with 249 characters. Your points will now be refunded. So now it generated that audio file, right? Well, yes and no. So it generated the audio file, but it, after it's done, it automatically instantly removes the audio file. Ain't that great? Um, and as far as I can remember, it will not even be saved in your, uh, your paste bin. It is just gone. Uh, now, if you want to keep the audio file, of course, you can just right click on the delete tts audio file and uncheck enable um, and then it will save the file so if you do want to use it there you go right there you go so that is technically how danny works now there is one more thing what if i want to change and this is if you're oh yeah I forgot something here, really important. I'm an idiot. Um, we have to go back to this uh, speak about TTS finisher because if you follow along and you tested it, you have noticed something is not working correctly. This is correct because uh, there you can actually see in this speak about TTS finish trigger, we have a file watcher. And you remember that we put in the um, the file directory in SpeakerBot right here. We have to set that in um, in this trigger too. Um, because now you're probably like, hey, but I did this, but it doesn't trigger. No, this is correct because this doesn't. Um, now, sadly enough, they don't, even though I click on here, right click and edit trigger, um, it doesn't, um, it, it, I don't know why they don't let me edit the trigger, even though it said edit trigger, but it lets me select a new trigger. Um, so instead, what we have to do to edit this one, we have to go to settings right here, then go to folder and file watcher, a uh, file slash folder watcher, click on that. It should be in here. Then you want to double click on this and all you want to do is change your folder location. Don't touch the filter. Do not touch it. You break it. So all you want to do is go here and use the exact same file directory. We just pasted here, um, where you save the audio file. Um, this is actually how it can check for the audio file to use it. But well, we have to change this. So this we have to change to the exact same folder where we had it. 
then click OK, and now you're done. Finished. That's that. Yes, it was a way longer video, but it's also because I went a little bit more into detail. Um, uh, so yeah. Now, here is a tip for uh, newer users with that maybe never used it before. Uh, of maybe never used Streamable before, although I will not recommend the tutorial in, play in the first place, but I, I, I do hope that even if you're brand new, this worked, this helped out, it was clear enough. If not, you know where to be down in the comments or in the Discord. But what if I want to change um, the channel point amount? Well, we go over here to platform, Switch channel point rewards, and then you would have by default a channel point called Danny Speaks TTS or Danny Speaks TTS. Double click on that, and then here is where you can change the um, the cost. And once again, this is also what shows up in the bottom of the channel points. So this is um, that. So if you do change your amount, you'll have to change it in this place too. But again, 240 is great. I will keep it up there. I will not even change it. What I do recommend you, now I have it off for the tutorial. So I can do it multiple times without having to wait. But I would recommend you to at least add a global cooldown to the channel point. So I normally have like 30 seconds is more than enough. Why? Well... We still have an issue, um, and this is the best way to solve that. Uh, if I claim the channel point, and then he comes up, and it speaks out my channel point, my text, but someone else claims it right at the same time as you, it will overwrite automatically. So you, won't, you, do, you don't want that. So that is why I'm like put in a cooldown of a minimum of 30 seconds uh, to prevent that. This is a little failsafe. Well, so that is that. Um, I don't think I miss anything. If I did miss anything uh, or something is not working, comment down below and uh, or jump into the Discord uh, where we, of course, will be helping you out. Uh, we have two options you can help. Uh, you can ask for help. Uh, you have, we have a support ticket, but I do recommend. Oh, I do have to fix this. So uh, I do recommend going here to stream support and then make a ticket here um, because this is just, we know if you make a ticket here, it is uh, OBS related or whatever. Uh, also, this is where you can download stream about TTS. Um, the fastest way. Um, and if you want to create a post, you just do new post. Uh, for example, needs help. You don't even have to do that. You can do, I don't know, type in what, what you need. Then a, a small message. And then make sure you have like at least needs help. And then maybe with Streamabot or OBS. And then uh, it will populate and then we'll come over and help you out. Um, there is also a description here, what the channel points, uh, what the emotes, uh, the tags will represent. So if you don't, not sure on uh, which one to use, you can always read the top one and that one will show you how the, um, the tags work. Um, with that being said, I do hope that this one helped you out. Um, the next tutorial that I will make is going to be, and I did mention this in the last tutorial, um, is going to be um, Twitch Clips. That is where I am going to show you how to create clips and send them over to Discord and do all fancy stuff. Um, so yeah, stay up the, uh, if you want to stay updated for that video, um, don't forget to hit that sub button and of course, hit the like button if that helped you out. If this video did help you out, if you liked it. 
and it will definitely help me out and will also help people out that didn't see the video yet because well it will get out there um and yeah i hope this helped i hope you guys enjoy danny tts i am also working on a new update for danny tts also if you want to see more updates um or you want to stay updated with updates for dds you can also um join the discord and then here in showcase i will post updates and well that's a little sneak peek for uh danny halloween so yeah he will get a the halloween update i'm hyped for that um but um also for danny the next update will be the halloween update because i have some other stuff that i want to do and that is uh one of them is replacing the way we are doing danny right now so now we are using danny as a, just a video file we are going to change this to make it more legit um so that will be in the next tutorial too with the halloween update um so stay tuned for that uh and yeah again the next update will be twitch clips after that i have some other uh, ideas if you want to see anything obs related or stream about related let me know too down in the comments below um and of course you can always drop down um in twitch stream there uh four or five days a week um so here is my uh stream schedule monday wednesday friday and saturday is when i stream at 8 p.m cst um the last couple of weeks it hasn't been a little bit variated because i was so busy with developing this stuff um but yeah i hope you all enjoyed guys this video was already way too long um yeah and of course show me clips for you using another stream i love to see it i love to see this working uh and again if there are any other problems let me know down too in the comments below or in the discord with that being said guys i hope you all enjoyed and we will see you in the next one bye bye